Hey guys, Laser Boy here, and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to take a little flight in VR, and I'm going to show you an easy way to use voice recognition for making your selections in the air traffic control menu, which always comes in really handy when you're flying VR, uh, otherwise you have to take the headset off to even see your keyboard. And the first step is to grab a little program called Voice Attack. I use the Steam version of Voice Attack. They've got a free demo over here, which will work just perfectly for what we're doing. Now to set this up the way we're going to use it is real simple. I made a video and you can look for it at the end of this one. Let's take our trusty little Bonanza here for a spin across Lake Michigan and uh, go from Grand Rapids to Chicago. Okay, so to use this, uh, first we'll open up the drop down menu here and bring out the air traffic control menu. Now what we need to do is we can make any of these selections just by saying the number of it here, followed by a decimal, and then the number again. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Ordinarily, you would either have to hit the button on your keyboard or click on it with your mouse. But with this little program, you can say literally anything you want, and then you follow your sentence with a number, and it will hit the selection. The reason I made it so it's a number followed by a decimal and then the number again is because if you simply made it numbers like one, two, three, you would get all kinds of false positives all the time. It would trigger all the time. Let me show you how this works here. Let's go ahead and tune ground services. Tune Grand Rapids ground on 1.1. .1. See that? It goes ahead and opens up your window here. It's got all your requests. So that works out pretty easy. Well, let's go ahead and ask them for departure here. Let's see, we're going to be going to the west. So we're going to need to use selection number eight. Grand Rapids Tower, Lima, 1 Oscar, November is ready for a straight out departure to the west for Charlie 8.8. Grand Rapids Ground See? Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf ready to yeah, taxi departure to the west with X ray. Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf taxi to and halt short of runway 26 left by a taxiway. Contact tower on 135.65 when ready. Alrighty, say how easy that was? Grand Rapids Tower, Lima, Winoska, November acknowledges taxi clearance to runway 26 left at Foxtrot 1.1. Taxi to and hold short runway 26 left via taxiway Beechcraft Sierra X-Ray Golf. Alright, so there we go. Now just to get this out of the way a little bit, why don't we just drag it over here, put it where the co-pilot usually sits. That way it's not in our way. Okay, let's go ahead and taxi to runway 26 left, which I believe just so happens to be right here. Grand Rapids Tower, Lima, 1 Oscar, November is holding short of runway 26 left, requesting departure to the west at Foxtrot 3.3. Grand Rapids Tower, Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf ready for departure to the west at runway 26 left. Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf, wind 276 at 5. Departure to the west approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 26 left. Roger that. Acknowledge takeoff clearance for Foxtrot 1.1. Cleared for takeoff runway 26 left Beechcraft Sierra X-Ray Golf. Let's go ahead and get out of here before another airplane comes and tries to land on top of us. Okay. Some flaps going on here. I don't think we're ready to go. Roger that. Acknowledge. Continue west for Lima 1 Oscar November at 1.1. Grand Rapids Tower Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. Continue for west departure. Alright, Chicago, here we come. We're going to climb up a little bit, maybe to, oh, I don't know, about 8,000 feet or so. Lima 1 Oscar November. Leaving my airspace frequency change. 
Roger that. Acknowledge frequency change for Lima One Oscar November at 1.1. One. Grand Rapids Tower Laser Bolt Lima One Oscar November frequency change. Well, let's go ahead and request a flight following for our trip across Lake Michigan, and uh, we'll be in Chicago before you know it. Great Lakes Approach Lima One Oscar November is requesting flight following. Climbing through 3,000 for 9,000 at Lima One Oscar November 1.1. Approach Laser Bolt Lima One Oscar November is Type Beechcraft B365 miles southeast of Kilo Hotel Uniform Uniform 3,100 feet. Request flight following. Laser Bolt Lima One Oscar November approach. Squawk 0167. Roger that. Acknowledge Squawk Code 0167. Lima 1 Oscar November at 1.1. 1 .1. Squawk 0167 Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November radar contact 5 miles southeast of Kilo Hotel Uniform, Uniform 3600 feet. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. Roger that. Acknowledge radar contact at 3,700 feet, climbing to 9,000. Lima 1 Oscar November with Delta 1.1. 1 .1. Roger Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. See that? How easy that is? Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November contact Kalamazoo. Approach on 133 decimal 8 Good day. Roger that. Acknowledge handoff to Kalamazoo Center on 133 decimal 8. Lima one Oscar November 1.1. 1 .1. One tree tree See, one thing is kind of handy is almost November. every single interaction Goodbye. you're going to have ends with a 1.1. 1 .1. Contact Kalamazoo Approach at 1.1 1 .1 for Lima one Oscar November. Kalamazoo Approach Laser Bolt Lima one Oscar November 4,300 feet. Laser Bolt Lima one Oscar November Kalamazoo Approach altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two radar contact continue. Yeah, this is one of those things that's so deceptively simple that you could do it right in front of people and a lot of times they wouldn't even realize what's actually going on. That it's really only listening for that number at the end of your sentence. But it works really good and it always feels good to talk to the ATC and stuff. It's a lot more immersive that way and uh, it's great for VR. I am a good old Michigan boy. I've lived here for most of my life and uh, I've never really minded winter that much. I kind of like the snow for a little while. But I gotta admit, by the time like January and February rolls around, I am over it. I am ready for some nice weather usually. This is so spectacular in VR. I absolutely love this game. And we are approaching our 9,000 feet. Uh, we're gonna hold there and that'll be our cruising altitude. It really is hard to beat a good West Coast sunset, and Florida and California is really not the only place that you can get one of them. Just come right here. We have some of the most spectacular sunsets you've ever seen. It's really nice here. That's a good sign. We're getting closer. Roger that. Acknowledge handoff to Chicago Center at 128.5. 1 Oscar November 1.1. 1 1.5 1 Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Tune Chicago Center on 1.1. Chicago Center Lima 1 Oscar November is inbound, holding 9,000 feet with Delta 1.1. 1 .1. Chicago Center Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November 9,000 feet. Lima 1 Oscar November, Chicago Center Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2 Radar Contact Continue. And just look at this. You know, I know people think Lake Michigan is big, but I don't think they quite realize how big it is. We're at 9,000 feet, and you can't see land in any direction. It's massive. It's, uh, it's really impressive. Let's just check all of our airports here and see if we can find Chicago O'Hare. 9.9. 9. 
9.9 we're getting closer 9.9 9.9 there we go all right uh, we're gonna start dropping some altitude soon but before we do that let's contact Chicago at uh, tune the radio to 128 decimal one at 1.1 1 .1. Chicago O'Hare Lima one Oscar November is inbound from the east requesting full stop landing at the active runway with Delta 3.3 Tower Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November is 44 miles northeast 9,000 feet with India to land. Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November Tower. Altimeter 2 niner, decimal niner 2, wind 2755. Make straight in runway 28 right. Roger that. Acknowledge pattern entry for runway 28 right. Lima 1 Oscar November at 1.1. Make straight in runway 28 right, Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. Well, wonderful. 28 right should be uh, pretty easy to find. Let's go ahead and begin our descent here. Start slowly dropping her down. A little bit of altitude to lose here. I'm going to bring her down to about, oh, maybe 3,000 or so. And beautiful Chicago. Look at it right there. Looking good. Big city's popping into view. I always like flying over there and checking out Soldier Field. That's a really nice looking stadium. Yeah, we're only, uh, we're less than 20 miles out now and uh, we're just waiting for our clearance to land. Let's go ahead and uh, give ourselves a notch of flaps here and slow down a little bit. Should be getting our landing clearance uh, here real shortly. I, think I do believe that's our runway right there. Looks like there's another fellow getting ready to take off from that exact runway, but he's got time still. It's going to be a minute or two before we get there. Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November wind 274 at 5. Clear to land runway 28 right. Roger that. Acknowledge landing clearance for runway 28 right Lima 1 Oscar November with Delta 1.1. Clear to land runway 28 right laser bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. Go ahead and put these gear down. Delta 2806 heavy, turn next taxiway. This is an absolutely beautiful airport, man. Look at this. It's huge. This airport is about the size of the entire town I live in. And smooth and looking good. Roger that. Acknowledge ground handoff to 121.5 for Lima 1 Oscar November at 1.1. 121.675 Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar yeah, November. It's a good thing it doesn't actually listen to what you're saying because I've read back that frequency wrong. Well, there you go. How fun is that, right? It makes it real easy to do some air traffic control with voice recognition. And it's a super easy profile to set up. And you can do it by yourself in just a couple minutes. <laughs> They're telling him to go around because I'm still on the runway. <laughs> I think what happened there is I landed on the wrong runway. So, whoops. Going around Emirates Niner Tree Niner Tree Heavy. Emirates Niner Tree Niner Tree. Look at all those people that are pissed off. They had to go around because I was on the runway. Good <laughs> day. Whoopsie. Well, that was a lot of fun flying over Lake Michigan and ending up in Chicago. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. This should be a pretty easy little voice recognition program for anybody to set up on their own. 
and thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you next time bye now this is the video right here click on that one it'll show you how to set it up for yourself